Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Jake's RC Stuff video where we're sat at the computer. It's a it's sort of my Monday video type of thing, just to see how we get on with it. Um, the first one of these, uh, based on Banggood, recently um, went live and got okay views. Um, so maybe it's something you want to keep doing. If it is, please let me know. Um, but yeah, what we do is we basically we choose a store or a manufacturer or something like that, and go through all of the planes that they sell and see... Would I get them or would I not get them? Um, so far we've done Banggood and Hobby King. And uh, this is sort of number three in that list. And um, this is Flex Innovations, which is owned by Kiki Semancini and somebody else who I don't know. Um, Kiki had the Kiki Aircraft Company and then did a lot of work for... <coughs> Hobby. Sorry, I, I hate Horizon Hobby. I'm very allergic to them. Um... But yeah, uh, he, he started his own company again after leaving Horizon Hobby, and these are all of the players that he sells. We're going from, um, when you first go to this page, it's high to low, um, but this is, but I've decided to low to high for, for interest. And the way that this works is basically any players that I would actually buy, I would right click and put in another tab. Um, I've been a little bit wishy-washy on if planes I already have go in there. Um, the planes that I do have from them are the their, their yak which they no longer sell uh, the 30 cc electric yak i also have one of these the flex jet tvs for vectoring jet um you can see that on the channel uh you see both of them on the channel but you can actually see the flex jet flying slightly so let's start from the beginning um so this is the piranha um which is kind of his version of the striker i believe he did do the work on the sort of the aerobatic striker i think the first one wasn't him but the q was it or whatever the one that added rudders and could do stunts as well as fly fast um this is his version of it it runs on his new 6s setup which is basically a mini quad motor on 6s as opposed to a slightly bigger motor on 3 or 4s for me personally uh, so it has rudders um, it doesn't have any thrust vectoring from what I can work out. Um, no, it does have an FPV nose, but why? I don't really know. Um, you also need an S-Bus receiver for it, ideally. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so you, you, again, it's personally, it's not for me. Before I got one of these, I would personally get a fun jet and a thrust vectoring kit. I do have like a... A spreadsheet of all the parts I'd need to buy for that. Um, but no, personally, I would have a Funjet Ultra with Funjet. No, not a Funjet Ultra 2, a Funjet 2, because the Funjet 2 is made out of lighter foam than the Ultra because it's not meant for speed. But because it's lighter, it'll do aerobatics better. So if you want speed, you get the Funjet Ultra 2. If you want the sort of, sort of, a, just a fun kind of part flyer slash something to do stunts with, you get the non Ultra because it's lighter, less dense foam. Up next, we have the extra 300G2. I like that. I don't know. This reminds me a lot of the Vision Air, especially with the lights on the wings, the Vision Air. Um, not the biggest fan of that. The lights on the end. Is this 4 or 6S? It's a 3S. Okay, maybe if I stuffed in my Vision Air, I'd get one of those. It's not a, it's not an awful price. I think that would be in pounds would be cheaper than um cheaper than um any of the Horizon Hobby stuff. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fire up aerobatics. You may have just got rubbed on my shoulder, I'm very sorry. No, not aerobat Z, aerobat. Aerobat X. If we go to Flex Innovations, Flex Airframes, we can have a look at UK prices of things. Because that's really what matters. Price low to high. Um, so it doesn't actually look like they have them in stock. Oh, they do. So the day version is £276, which is a bit, it's still a bit expensive for a foamy. Um, it's about the same as Horizon Hobby, but they are a much smaller company. Um personally if that's the only price difference between the day and the night i get the night version just in case um but the green and the red not sure which one i'd have uh, but yeah, a bit expensive for, for for you know 
considering cheapo 3S foam is that size, about 150, it's about 100 quid more and a bit. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to go back off of this and then just refer back to that for prices. So the Mamba 10 G1 and the G2, the main difference with this is the G2 features the same sort of 6S style setup here. So what I would say is I would have... I'm not going to put that in my would have list because especially now I've seen the UK price, it's a smidgen expensive, personally. Um, so yeah, we'll skip those two. The G1 and the G10, the main difference is I believe one's 3 cell and one's 6 cell. Possibly four. 3S, yeah. The other one is 6S. Personally, unless you've got loads of brand new 3S's that you want to use, I'd get the G2 with the 6S. It does seem a lot better. It's not that much more expensive. The member G2. It's £17 more expensive. And I would actually have one of those. Just in general, without having to wait for something to die. Um, the FV31 Cypher VTOL, not for me. Cap, I'm very interested in, because um, you know, the caps were obviously the old old style 3D flyers before everything went to mid-wing. Um, so to see a foam version of it is kind of exciting, because of course that was, that was still like 35 meg glow days um, with caps. Um, so the fact that there's a foamy electric one is kind of exciting. Uh, what's the price? 430 It's a little bit expensive. That is a 6S size, and I mean a proper 6S size, because it's a 60E size. Um, so, whereas this would run off like a 6S 1500, this would run off a 6S 5000. Um, so yeah, I would indeed have one of those. Uh, a Cessna 17060. Personally, this will do 3D, but again, not for me. FlexJet G2, again, not for me. I wasn't interested in this uh, before the FlexJet TV came out, which, as I say, I have got one of. Um, personally, for me, yeah, it is a bit more of an aerobatic jet. Um, it may fly better than, say, an F-16, which is what it's clearly based off of. Um, but no, personally, I wouldn't have one of them. Um, I would have something like an Avanti. Or if you like Horizon Hobby, I don't. But if you like Horizon Hobby, the Havoc that they had. Or even their new Massive Viper, which is £600 for a foamy jet, is slightly astonishing. Um, and what's really... I'm going to have a mini rant now about the, the new Viper jet from E-Flight. You ever have the Bind and Fly version, which is your £610 one, which has all the smart shit in that... 99% of people don't need um, or want, even if you are for Spectrum user. How many of you using the smart shit? I don't know. Um, so, and then the other option is an ARF Plus, which is just the kit with servos in, and that's 400 But then you have to go and find your own speed controller, fan, and things like that. Why can't they do plug and play like sensible people? Um... I guess because the smart stuff costs a lot because it's got all this extra shite in that if it's not special they won't use but it's very annoying. I apologise for loads of little bikes going past. It's warm on a weekend so we get terrorised by people from the city coming into the countryside. I'm not sure if you can see that on that but there's a lot of them. Which means there'd be a nightmare to overtake because normally dodder along at about 3 miles an hour. Anyway, next we have the RV860 which actually looks a lot better in green. Let's show you in green. This is like it's it's not a it's not a, a extreme three D machine, but it will do three D. It's nice and slow. I want one of those. I've asked for one for my birthday, as well as I would have that or jet parts. Um, in the UK, it is a little bit expensive, but yeah, five hundred and thirty four quid for the the do a day and a night version. Not that bothered about a night version. Something that big, I probably wouldn't have that late at night anyway. Um. Mamba, and also, if I was going to fly it nearby, I'd want to be something that I hope is small to fit for like this hole in the hedge that we can go to, like a little film to fly on. That is 75 inch wingspan, so it wouldn't fit through a tiny little hole in the fence. Have the Mamba 60E, reminds me a lot of the old Beast, the, the sort of medium because of the micro, the 60 size Beast, and then the 100cc Beast. Um, foam again, I would indeed have one of those in the UK. $700 
It's 501 pounds, which makes sense. This one's a little bit more expensive because, hey, it's bigger and has more servos in it. Actually, no, because it'll have the flaps. Yeah. Eh, eh. It's more, it's bigger, so it's probably more to ship and more to assemble. But anyway, yes, I'd have one of those. I'd have one of those. I wouldn't have the Super Saber, just not, not for me. I have a FlexJet TV, so I will add that up there. Brilliant. The FlexJet Pro is basically a flex jet but made out of fiberglass um and you can convert it to turbine if you want to yeah again not for me mamba 70 cc i am interested in simply because of the fact that um we don't have a 50 cc pits of that style biplane we have the tiny beast 60 size beast 100 cc beast this is basically the new version of the Beast um, from Horizon Hobby that he designed. He had his just, I think it was just called the Pits S12 before when he had it with Kiki Aircraft Co. Um, what would be cool is if we could get the Mamba G10 and then the Mamba 70cc. We'd have one at like every every single size, like like Ultra Micro, something that's like a 3S class. I know it runs 6S, but 3S. You have the 6S Beast medium size then you have the mamba 70 like the 50 size roughly class then you have the 100 mamba 120 again something that always surprises me is how is how little of a price difference there are sometimes between the two um there's a lot more when you scale up a biplane there's a lot more involved than a monoplane but if you compare like a 50 cc e-flight uh, extreme flight sorry extra versus 120 cc it's like three hundred pounds difference, which is nearly nothing. Again, you're then paying you know t double for the engine because it's essentially a fifty two fifty strapped together, so it's double the price and all that. Gubbins and whereas you could possibly get away without using a power box on a fifty cc, you'd need to use one on a hundred, I think. I'd say um, servos more expensive, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me just double check something quickly on my phone. Apologies for this. A second, uh, yeah. So the Mamba 120, I do like it. It looks cool. Um, personally, I'm not sure if I would. Certainly at the minute, when I already have one, I wouldn't get another 100 cc biplane. Um, I'd want before I got a Mamba, I would get uh, an extra or something a slick. Uh, Power RC slick, probably the 100 cc plane that I would buy next. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with it. Personally, is one that I would buy if I wanted a 100 cc biplane. That would be the one that I would buy. Um, or, or just 100cc in general, um, but because I've had a 100cc biplane, I want 100cc monoplane because they're actually bigger. Um, this is be, I think it's about 90 something wingspan as opposed to like a 120 for a 120, if that makes sense. Yeah, wingspan uh, 85. So, yeah, oh, but it's beautiful in the orange and white. I wish they'd do the orange and white on the Mamba 70 because they have this blue. Yellow and red. I think the red's a bit too similar to a beast. Uh, I'd have the yellow out of all of these. Um, I've got the number seventy other way. Yep. And if I had the money, I would most certainly have an F sixteen QQ. Now you might think six and a half grand is astonishing, um, but it is plug and play. So all you need is a turbine, which would be like two thousand two hundred roughly. A um, couple of batteries. Um, air trap is about 50 quid um that is about 200 pounds but with that you technically don't need a power box so that replace your power box at like 300 quid um again a couple more batteries and a receiver um which um i like 150 for two um but yeah that is more or less it and in fact this is more or less the lineup so yep g10 is a small one i would go for the sorry number 10 i'd go for the g2 if you need to buy batteries anyway 
uh, most of my 3S's are a bit crap now. Um, oh, that's interesting. He's released his own receivers to... Maybe to make them cheaper? Because it's like a satellite with a long nose? Oh, I don't freaking know. Um, but no, I would have one of those. I would love one of those because it's just like, it's, it's so refreshing to see like a modern cap. Um, love one of those, just something relaxing but it'll still do 3D. Again, just like a bigger Mamba so I can have my own beast because I got a bit put off flying my dad's smaller beast after a small incident where the motor just squealed just for a second and I hit the tail on the ground and it cracked. Didn't snap or anything. It was glued back together. It looks all right. But, um, yeah, it was a little bit worrying. Um, yeah, the yellow doesn't look good. Don't like the yellow. Don't like the green. It would have to be red. Flexjet TV. That is... That did, that's not me. Ah, oh. uh, but no, this, this... This, 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 this is now me. I can do this. Sort of. Um, got some new batteries for mine that I need to test. Um... Does say custom thrust vectoring nozzle. I don't think so. I think I've seen the same thing on Banggood. Member 70. Um, that grows on me the more I look at it. Oh, but then the red one comes. And then I see the yellow one, and it's just. Presuming it's the same yellow as what was used on the Yak. Um, that's great. Yellow and red, all the versions, colours. How many versions of colours are there? Blue, red, and yellow. Okay. Oh, the other ones are all ARFS VED. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, um, and then of course the F16, if I had the money for it. Lower everyday prices at Walmart. Um, no, but um, no, um, aerobatics don't even have that on their site. I think it's a special order type of thing. Aerobatics is a place to get them from in the UK. You've also got Pilot RC if they've got them in stock. Um, but yeah, Flight Innovations are a very exciting company in my eyes. Um, it was like if I could be sponsored by any company, you could choose just one. Probably be flex because I like a lot of their products. It's the type of things that I'm into, um, and it's a smaller company. So, like, if I had the feedback or maybe even a plain idea, I could go to them with it and they'd probably do it. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, click the like button, um, subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you knew about flex or if you have any flex planes and what you think of them. But um, for now, I'm gonna leave it here. So please like, subscribe, comment stuff like I just said, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.